Hello everybody, how are we doing today? Carlos here in the Bourbon Bar. Today's special episode is going to be five very findable whiskeys under $50. And I think it's kind of a fun list that a lot of uh, other YouTube channels have done. And I just think it's a good concept and you know, we're all different people, we all have different tastes. And sometimes it's cool to hear and see other people's opinions. So without wasting time, I'll start with bottle number one, 1792 small batch bourbon from Sazerac. It weighs in at 93.7 proof and is incredibly consistent at only costing $29 to $32. I can find it at my local Jewel, I can find it at Meyer, Benny's, most of my mom and pop liquor stores. Um, very, very nice, very respectable whiskey. Very good flavor profile, not super long in finish, but you know, on any given night, it's no problem to pop one open and it's definitely really simple to replace it when the time is up. Uh, bottle number two is going to be a Jim Beam product from Maker's Mark. This one is actually the cast strength that weighs in at 110.4 proof. I was not a huge Jim Beam fan and I have to say Maker's Mark is the one that made me start reconsidering and re-expanding and re giving them a try and they really caught my attention. $40, no age statement. Very findable again. I find these at Jewel all the time. Uh, my Biddies has it. Most of my non public stores have it. Very amazing price, amazing proof. And uh, like I said, very simple to replace. On a nice fall, winter day, who doesn't like a little extra proof with a little extra value combined? So, next bottle is going to be a turkey product. It is Russell's Reserve 10 Year Bourbon. I know the label looks a little funny, but this is an old school one. Uh, this bottle is probably 10, 15 years old. Maybe not that old. Probably about at least 10 years old, though. Um, you can find them today. They got the nice white label, the little red stripe at the bottom. $32 to $35. Very findable. Jewel Osco, Benny's, Mom and Pop liquor stores. Um, turkey products are pretty awesome from the 101. I haven't had the 81 proofer, but I have to imagine it's the same profile as the 101. All of their products are good. They have great spice, great sweetness, nice notes of cinnamon, and they're very consistent. So this 10 year bourbon, 90 proof, you know, hard to beat. Very, very hard to beat. Uh, the next one is going to be actually a rye whiskey from Michter's, and it is also a single barrel. It weighs in at 42, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, 84.8 proof, um, also around $45. I am not gonna, I don't know that I've seen this at my Jewel, but you know, Benny's and my local liquor stores, it is available, it's not a hard find. And um, the price, you know, I mentioned 45 bucks, you know, I've seen it marked up to like 55, but on average it's right around $50 and not really hard to find. Uh, also an awesome, awesome bottle. This is something that I, this is one of my favorite go-to whiskeys that's not break the bank price point. And last but not least, um, I had to put a barrel proof in the mix and it also carries a nine year age statement. This is going to be Knob Creek nine year single barrel, uh, barrel select. It is 120 proof, nine year age stated like I said. And I was looking because I kind of forgot what I paid for it. It looks like it's around 45 bucks at uh, Jewel Osco. And uh, the price that I found was Total Wine. Total Wine's the equivalent to my Biddings out here. So not very hard to find. Um, they have a great lineup up and down. Now what I will say about this one is when I first popped it, it was like good to mediocre. I let it sit for a couple months, uh, probably about two months to be pretty accurate and it has opened up so much. It's smoother, it's sweeter, it's softer, there's more flavors going on. The finish is a little nicer, and at 120 proof, this is my kind of bourbon all day. And again, right around the $45 price point, so I hope you guys like the list. Um, these are my go-to five bourbons under, well, and rye. Um, I guess so my five go-to whiskeys under 50 bucks that are very findable. Um, please let me know if there's any other lists you guys would like to see from me and any other challenges because I find them very fun and interesting to compare people's preferences and flavor profiles if they desire. Um, anyways, cheers guys. Hope you guys get to try some of these and uh, can't wait to bring the next episode to you guys soon. Have a good one.